While Seoul and uh, the surrounding uh, provinces has been receiving torrential downpours down south, the heat has been off the charts there. And uh, many people uh, right, in, right ahead of the uh, vacation season or the peak of it all are looking for that perfect place to go, that perfect getaway. That's right. And today we're going to take you to Gochang, the southernmost city in North Cheola province. And this place is known for its pansori, the tradition of pansori, which is a Korean form of storytelling. So where's my olsu, chiwa <laughs> There you go. That's the spirit. Ah. And Andrew and Diana give a shot at pansori, and this should be quite a sight. Right. right. And Gochang claims to have everything that captures the hearts of the visitors. And I have my friends coming back from Gochang totally mad mesmerized by their experience, so I'm very looking forward to this. All right, so let's go and get this also action going. <laughs> right? Time to check out Andrew and daughter Diana's adventures around the country. Following traditional rural experiences and feeding adorable sheep, where did we head to for our third trip? None other than Gochang, famous for its 1,500-year-old Sonun Sa to the UNESCO World Heritage Dolmen Site, regional eel, watermelon, and Korean wild blackberry Bokbun Ja delicacies. My daughter and I made our way out to the city of Gochong in North Jolo Province, where history and nature peacefully coexist. The first place we stopped to take in all that Gochong has to offer is the Gochong Fortress, known as one of the three main town walls in the country. The fortress was built 500 years ago to block off foreign invasions and the shape of the walls are still very much intact and preserved. Not only that, the walking trail around the fortress wall was selected as one of the most beautiful scenic hiking routes boasting immaculate natural surroundings and scenery. Tourists could enjoy not only the spacious grounds but a priceless view of Gochang City. Up here is just an expansive, impressive view, and it's all so cool. Double the thrill. We decided to move on from the Gochang Fortress Wall to another destination. And our next stop is this nature-friendly Hajon Village. On board this cultivator-turned-mudflat bus, we roam freely about Gochang's famous tidal land. And after several loud noises and bumps here and there, we quickly found ourselves right in the middle of the gigantic mud flat. The Gochong mud flat is home to diverse natural monuments and wildlife that have been recognized by the Ramsar list of wetlands for its clean and untouched setting. As soon as we get to the right place, we start digging for some clams. The mud flats here are known to have lots of clams, and with just one whisk, tons of these delicious goodies are found. You got one? You got one? You got one, Diana. Diana's already fully enjoying this clam digging session. much better than me at this. While she found a few, I still have no luck. Where are you? you can see that uh, I have two, and I've been here for about 15 minutes. Now, some of these people have got an entire basket full. That means they've been working hard all day. How did the other visitors dig up so many clams? What's their secret? <laughs> How did you get so many? 30 minutes, you've been working hard. <laughs> Two. But I just got here. Hi, Diana, are you getting dirty? Diana leaves her clam mission aside to indulge in a mud beauty session. Oh, oh. This is the perfect mud flat getaway from the dreary city to enjoy the nature and all the beauty it offers. <laughs> As I see Diana having lots of fun seeing crabs run across the tidal land and taking part in the very special clam digging experience, I'm glad we made this trip out here. Next, we headed to the Pansori Museum at Gochang, which is dubbed the Holy Land of Pansori. It says the Gochang 
Pansori Museum. Can you read it? Here, visitors can easily learn and experience this special Korean traditional narrative music. Many people have gathered around this old house to enjoy and take part in a festive Pansori party. And we decided to join in on the fun. What's it like to learn the Pansori? Well, all you can do is uh, dive in and try and swim with the rest of them. Oftentimes you feel like you're not really following along, but you have to sort of fake it, and it's fun. No, it's not chota. What is it? It's chota. Okay, chota. Okay, all right. Arshegu chota. Right? Our first day in Gochong enjoying the beauty of nature and the long-standing history came to an end. What kind of unforgettable memories and adventures will we have next week? So, Arshiku Jota. Jota. Right? Right. So, it looks like uh, Andrew got a, a few tips from Diana exactly. on how to say those words. Andrew. But it's for younger people, Pansori is a bit hard to understand and uh -huh. relate to, but I'm this experience... Only for younger people? <laughs> for us older folks for too, Andrew, but, uh, yeah, I, think, you know, but I think this experience it. makes it more approachable and relatable, I think. Right. Definitely. Andrew and Diana Brand do make it look fun. The mud flat sounds like a great place oh, to visit, I've right? I've always, yeah, always wanted to go clam digging, but I've failed so far, so I am going to go. But it's, it, they say it costs you, though. It costs you 100000 Sorry, 10,000 won, not 100,000 won. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's too much. Yeah, 10,000 won for an experience, right. for an adult. So. But well, then you might end up getting stuck there too, right? Yeah, because and never come back, right? right. <laughs> so yeah, pay that 10,000 won and make sure you get as many clams as possible yeah, to make exactly. up for it, right? But I guarantee the cleanup efforts afterwards is going to be a bit tough, right? Yeah, that might cost you 100,000 won. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> All right, that's all we have prepared for you on this Thursday morning. All right, we'll see you back here tomorrow on Friday morning at 7 a.m. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.